Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Let's get going today. We have a lot of things to unbox. This is my April haul. I haven't done a haul video in a while. I'm going to start doing a few more going into the future. I've got a lot of boxes actually in this Lego room office that haven't even been opened yet. And I ordered them months ago. So we'll go into those videos in the near future. But for now, let's cover April. Let's stay fresh. Let's stay on topic. I got a lot of stuff I want to show you. So let's get going into this right now. Before we get going, though, make sure you smash that like button, support the channel in any way you can. Subscribe, hit the bell for instant notifications. You're going to want to know when we're going live. We're having a good time over there building Lego sets, having fun. Okay, without further ado, let's go. All right, let's start with our first one. Do I have my knife? I do, okay, here we go. Okay, there's a lot of packages up there. What's this? Box isn't even taped. Boy, that guy went diagonal with that tape. All right, let's get this thing going. Excited about this. Kinda know what's in some of these. But let's see what we got. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I definitely know what is in here. And this is a, a box within a box. Quite nice. All right, so we have what appears to me to be the Indiana Jones set 77015, Temple of the Gold. I like it. So this is in a very protected outer box. Boy, this is special. So I'm just going to slice these. And let's take a look at what we have. Oh boy, this is big. Much bigger than I thought. I'm gonna take this out right now. Let's set this in here, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like in pristine condition. All right, okay. Careful right there. All right, there she is. All right, and let's take a look here. 77015 Temple of the Golden Idol. This is Indiana Jones theme Raiders of the Lost Ark. Just came out. I'm so excited about this set. The light brick, the golden idol, the faces in the wall built out of brick. I really do like all the details here. It's looking like a display set that will just fit in just right. Faces everywhere in the rocks. Got the big giant boulder there, some skeleton figures, and only four minifigures. Hovitos Warrior, Belak, Indiana Jones, and Satipo, who met his fate, did he not? So there's the idol. Throw me the idol. I'll throw you the whip. A lot of anticipation has been in the air for these Indiana Jones sets. The return of Indiana Jones. This one, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, also known as now the Temple of the Golden Idol. But look at all the details here. That light brick is going to be something special inside the set. Always nice to get a light brick or two, although I'm sure it will be a pain in time changing out batteries. Hopefully it doesn't corrode. This is about 20 inches wide and nine inches tall. A nice diorama looking set. You've got some of the figs acting out the action sequences in the movie. And so this is going to bring back some of that nostalgia and gonna make you feel good as you're building it. And maybe you're gonna put on Indiana Jones at the same time. So if you can join us for the live stream build, we will build this set and many others. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on that bell so you know when I'm going live. We'll have good times for sure. All right, great set. I'm gonna move on now and get on wow. to Temple of the Golden more. Idol. I like what I see right here. All right, good stuff. Well, there's one and that's a beauty. What are we gonna do with that right now? Well, I think we'll just leave it out so we can take a look at it. This box is gonna be saved right here. This outer shell 
Oh, I love the box within a box. I'm so bad. I do reuse all my boxes. I definitely, and uh, we definitely have a little shipping operation over here, so we keep every box. I write the number, I, I write the dimensions on them. They're in order, because we use them. Okay, next, next box. Here we go. Looks like the same one. Okay, so this was shipped in its own box right here. This one got a little bit more of, a, of abuse, I would say, than that one. But let's take a look. This thing was maybe shipped from a different location. I could really look into this, but here's the outer shell. And of course, yes, a second Temple of the Golden Idol. How beautiful is this? All right, so we got our two. It's all I could afford. They have like a maximum of three, but I wanted to get two. One is none in this world and I will build one and then I'll save one for who knows what. All right, so this one we'll just put aside for now or maybe we'll just stack it up next to this one. I think I'm gonna start stacking. All right, so block some of the boxes behind me. All right, we're good here. Let's keep going. What else did I get? This is a crazy April 1st haul. This was me at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific, ordering from my phone in bed. All right, oh boy. Here we go. Let's see what's going on here. I actually don't know all these other boxes are about the same size. Ooh, yeah. All right, there it is. This is my brick order. And what do we have here? Wow. This is a big, beautiful bag. These are one by four, dark bluish gray from Lego. That is awesome. This is my first order from Lego. It came pretty quick, I would say. They have a fast turnaround time on the items that are best sellers. And I just wanted no nonsense. I just decided I need a large quantity as well. I wasn't gonna nickel and dime with too much. So there we go. There is one by fours. And here is another one, our one by twos. Again, 1,000 or 999 was their max. There is another set of bricks, dark bluish gray. The third. Oh, okay. I guess what I'm looking at is another bag of one by four. Okay, so here, these are one by fours as well. So this is like about 500. So we're looking at about 500 per satchel and that's the maximum. So I got a thousand, there we go. That's a thousand one by four bricks. Wow, that's a lot. I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, and of course, this is like VIP time and I got my gift with purchase, Houses of the World. There it is. And here we go, Houses of the World 2, 40590, 270 pieces. This is a cool little micro scale building which I'm starting to grow very fond of. I've built some smaller sized things now and they're building up together and it's starting to look like a small sized Lego city. I love this. So I'm glad I have this. I'm glad I have a bunch of them. You can see the details on this thing. We're talking about the interior bedroom with the bed and then maybe the sitting area with the piano and the television or whatever that may be. This is a great looking set with that palm tree. Everything looks good. You put a few of these together. Eventually, I think they're gonna have five of these and we'll just try and collect them all. I missed the first one. It doesn't mean it's unattainable, but it got will it. cost right, a penny. So set that down. Also, what else did we get? We got the, uh, looks like a gift basket maybe. Bunny rabbit, promotional. And yes, happy Easter. This is Lego set 40587. And this again is the gift with purchase if you spend a certain amount. And yes, little Adshot did get herself one of these and we're going to build it on Easter. It's gonna be a good time. There it is, 368 pieces, not too bad. I seem to have a few of these Easter sets 
socked away in the closet. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with my excess of sets. I'll just put them away and maybe a year or two down the line, I will likely sell them and afford new Lego sets. It is a circle that keeps on giving. So I'm gonna keep trying to do that. Happy to have it and good timing. It is Easter. It did come before Easter. I'm actually very surprised about that. All right, we got that one. Let's just put that one back here. But this one's the cool one. I was looking at the VIP Spring Fun. And who does not like a VIP add-on pack? I am collecting these wherever I can. I'll trade anything for these packs. I've only opened, I think, one of them. I have them all, I, I collect them like they're some sort of gem or jewel for the future, but they're beautiful. When I get down into my Lego city, I will have things to use on this one. We can see a wheelbarrow, bicycles, other things that have to do with spring, pastel plates, plants, and cloud pieces, hats for working in the sun. Love that. So we're, we're gonna be seeing a whole lot of these. This is very good. Love these VIP add-on packs. And so that now takes us down to box three. So we had one box here. This was in its own double box. And this one I'll take good care of. This one I'll probably store away and I'll open this one. Probably has the worst of it. Okay, here's another one. Let's keep going. We have the knife. We go you're braving through it thanks for being here everybody this is fun stuff all right this one feels very light like extremely light light enough to think that the weight on the package isn't identical okay so what we have here is just a shipment of the lego houses of the world 2 there we go that's just a shipment box and this is all that's in here okay so now we're seeing that they split up my order so this could have been obviously you had to spend quite a bit to get these so we're talking brick orders other things you're gonna see a lot coming out of here and we'll just keep stacking and keep opening all right what's next here's another one again these are light so maybe this could be a whole nother just gift with purchase box separate so what was the big thing um yeah the indiana jones plane and the others they're both back ordered so that that's what is going on right now so they're just sending me gifts i guess so this was the set i really wanted this is set 77012 fighter plane chase 387 pieces and it was back ordered right when i tried to order it here is the other set 77013 escape from the lost tomb 600 pieces and i was unable to get this one as well they will be coming soon i'm not too worried about it i guess i'll get those two indiana jones sets later these this is the only one i might get right now that's what I'm guessing. All right, wow. Well, let's just keep going with these. VIP add-on pack again. Very good. The stack is getting bigger. Another houses of the world. All right, you're good. Actually, those two boxes are okay. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, this one's heavy. Okay, this one's bricks for sure. Wow, that was really heavy. That is not five pounds. This is, <laughs> are their weights like not accurate? I love it. Oh boy, okay, yeah. Paper, okay, yeah, they did send the VIP stuff. So here's another Easter bunny. Whew. Starting to tell, ooh, that's a nice pack right there. Oh, we got a broken bag in here. How terrible. Okay, so I got some bricks floating around in here. That's kind of lame. All right, well, I'm ordering from Lego just so you guys know, and we'll take a look at that. But there we go, there's another Houses of the World. That's four, wow. Okay, so there's a hole in the top of the bag. Okay, so I have to do some sorting now. This was likely filled. This is a bag of two by four plates. Oh, mixed. <laughs> I never thought they would do this. Okay, I also see some other stuff in here mixed in. Oh yeah, that a little sloppy, actually. You know, I get better bricklink orders than this. All right, so they mixed all my tiles 
with plates. And then they threw like a little satchel here of one by one dark bluish gray. Um, yeah, it's just all mixed in there, that's fine. But half of the bag is in the box. There's another VIP add-on. Oh, we can see the air that's in here. And it, these bags actually do have tiny holes in them, but this thing is inflated with air. So what that's telling me is these bags just probably popped or were knifed. Boy, you can see a little bit of uh, issues with the bag here. Maybe something else happened. All right, well, that's okay. Let's open, let's get this one out. So this is a good satchel because it's not messed up. This looks to me to be about a thousand one by three dark bluish gray. And that is a hefty, hefty amount right there. <laughs> so I don't want to hide Indy like completely, but whoa, whoa, that's a nice satchel. Okay, so here are my light bluish gray. I'm just gonna set these like right here, but then I definitely have to show you. And we can listen to all the, that's <laughs> shabby. Shabby, these bags are weak. Okay, anyway, uh, might've been just a bad seal and they just threw it in there, but it does look like it was, yeah. Who knows? You know, for the amount of, I think there's a lot of handling that's going on because I don't handle my bricks that much that I keep in bags and the bags don't look so punctured and, and used. Perhaps this was a pre-weighed full sack and has been sitting there for a long, long time and maybe moved a bunch of times. That's why the hundreds of baby holes in this bag, on top of the bag, through the bag here and the rest of them. Very once you start handling bags a lot, they start looking like this, but when they're new, they don't. So interesting. Okay, so I have a lot of bricks in here and plates and tiles. And I don't want that to spill out. Okay, and here's our final box today. Super cool. Let's see what's in here. This one's heavy too. It says 10, 10 pounds. All right. Went big with the first Lego order. All these bricks, all this dark bluish gray is going into the city for road plates. Huge investment. But also, if I decide to change up my road plates at any time, I will have an abundance of dark bluish gray, which I'm very happy with. It is a great neutral color. All right. And there's some beauties right here. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have a bunch of sacks or satchels right here. And these are one by eight dark bluish gray bricks. And these are beautiful. See, it's like some of these are like, why is this almost open? Why are things happening to where these bags are just about to pop? And again, just can't so much, so much going on, so much puncture. I'll be, I'll be, you know, It'll be important for me. I'm gonna start looking at these bricks and just see how the quality, hopefully it's good. It looks like these bags have been handled a bit or just the box has really had a rough journey. Another VIP add-on, this makes the fifth. I pretty much think I maxed out when it comes to buying these gifts and get, getting the gift with purchase. I appreciate this. I don't want all these bunnies, but I have them. Maybe I can make a mock out of them all this, who knows. All right, we have a thousand one by eights and that is gonna take up some room here. That's gonna com comprise a four of these satchels. So I have dual purposes with these bricks. One right away is I wanna get into my Lego city and develop some brick built roads. Roads that have the brick laying on its side. My own custom roads. Very happy about that, and so that is the goal here. I believe I can make many road plates with these bricks right here, but I am sure that I'm going to need even more than this. Kind of scares me a little bit, but if I decide to pull back, maybe I'll go to road plates, and but we'll that see. brings us to the end of this Lego haul. And so the only thing that you are not seeing are the Indiana Jones sets that went into back order. So we will look into that and make sure that we get those. It said that those would ship out on April 20th. So we'll just wait for those. 
but they did go ahead and they just sent over these here. So I got all of my Easter stuff. So that, I guess I gotta say that's a really nice touch that if they were thinking that I was going to be gifting these, which I am not, I don't think so. Maybe, I mean, maybe one to a little ad shot or something, but for the most part, uh, these are just for my collection and it's nice to get a little extra gift with purchase when you're doing so much purchasing. Uh, as well as the VIP points, it's really nice. So I got this Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of the Golden Idol, and I will build that first. And then the other sets will come in time. They went into back order pretty quickly and it appears Lego didn't have enough for demand. That was definitely apparent. A lot of people were voicing their opinion on that. But for now, I am very excited about all these dark bluish gray bricks. These are going to combine with some other orders that I have and those will be coming in shortly. And so right now, this is just this haul. This is from lego.com and this was an April 1st uh, amazing haul. And the rest will come soon, but I guess you're looking at it and uh, you can tell kind of like how much this stuff, when it starts adding up, when you get, you know, a thousand of each. And then we, we can see like how some of the, uh, just things happen. And I, I can see that this is just was a bad seal. And so it busted open during shipment, likely. Uh, but we'll fill that back up and it looks like we have everything we need here. So I'm happy about it. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. I appreciate you all being here. Take care. Bye-bye. I can't even go this way. How am I going to turn the camera off? <laughs> this is good. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to go that way. It takes a little bit to get over there. That's cool. All right, good haul. I'm excited about this one. So thankful for everyone who has supported this channel along the way. There's a lot to come. I can't wait for the future here. And I'm just honored to know each and every one of you. Let's carry this forward. Thank you guys very much. We're going to do this. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get as many likes as we can. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever ordered Pick a Brick from Lego? Are you going to get these indie sets? Let me know. And I'll see you next time.